Welcome back to another episode of the sh** my wife brings home. Today we have another multimeter and today it's a good one. So we're going to take a look at this bad boy right here. So what we have here is an old Simpson multimeter. Let's just crack that guy open there. So this is the Simpson 270. Uh, I'm not too sure of the year of this unit, but uh, anyways, it comes in this awesome case. We've got our probes in here. We'll have to check those out, make sure they're all good. But first thing we'll do is we will open this guy up and uh, have a look and we'll see what's going on in the inside here. Make sure that if there's any batteries in there, they get replaced, any fuses that need to be replaced. We do that stuff first and then we go from there. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this guy over. And we've got one flathead screw there. So let me just get my little, little tool kit here. So on the back here, we do have the battery and fuse compartment. Uh, we'll see what's going on there. So from what I can see here, we have a uh, one nine volt battery here. Um, just pull this guy out and then a, a D battery here. And I don't think I have any of those kicking around. This is actually weird. It's almost got, uh, you can tell it's an older battery. It's got the cardboard feeling to it. I'm just going to go ahead and pop out this guy here too. Here and that's a bit of an older battery. It looks like it's past its prime here. Might still work, but uh, we'll change that anyways. Yeah, so at this point, I only have C batteries. I don't have any Ds laying around, so we'll have to figure out something for that one. Uh, let me just back this guy back out. Okay, and this here is the fuse compartment. You'd think there'd be an easier way. So there's three fuses in here. I Let's see what this one here is. Uh, VLS2, 600 volt. So that's the big guy out of there. And then this guy here, if she wants to come out. Come on. There we go. So this one here is definitely blown. And this one is a one amp fuse, 250 volt. I know I do have some of those kicking around. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll rotate around and pop out the other one here. I don't know why they do it this way, but to each their own. And we'll just double check this one. And this one looks this one looks blown as well. And this is another one amp uh, fuse. So I'm not sure if these are the right ones for it or not. I'll have to see if I can find any information on it. Okay, so I got my multimeter here. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to check each of these fuses here for continuity, see if they're blown or not. You never know. Sometimes it might look blown, but it's just the way that the uh, fuse is inside. So I'll just double check. I'm getting nothing on that one. 
Let's hope this big guy is all good still. So I'm getting a nice tone out of that one there. So that guy's still good. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll test. Now, so both of the one amp fuses are blown. Once again, I'm not too sure if those are the right ones for it. I'm going to have to see if I can find anything on this meter and see what ones will go in there. And uh, if they are the one amp ones, I do have lots of them and other ones that are similar sizes. So that's where we'll, we'll start. We'll start with replacing the fuses, replacing the batteries, and checking out the functionality of the meter and compare it to my Micronta. But I also have an older analog meter that we can also compare to just for fun. So if I get that all together, we'll test it out. I'll see what happens there. Uh, if I can find that meter, I think it's in the, the other in the shop, but uh, we'll we'll take a look. I'm gonna get the wife to bring me home a 1D battery and one 9 volt battery to get these guys replaced. So I found the manual for the unit online, and basically what it's showing is that on this part here. Uh, this is uh, this one here. That's your two amp fuse. Um, then this guy here is your one amp fuse, but it has an extra slot here. And this one here is for your spare uh, one amp fuse. Uh, so that's kind of nice. So the good news is I got the wife to go and pick up or bring home some batteries. So we got a couple new brand new Energizer batteries here that we'll get put in here and then we'll test it out because I haven't seen uh, an ever ready like this in quite some time. I remember back uh, when I was young, that's what you saw everywhere. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, expired Duracell battery as well. Um, I'm not going to open it up for now. I might save that for later. Uh, I did real, didn't did realize that uh, these uh, units are, you can still buy them. I was looking on um, Newark uh, and they have them for sale on there as well as a few other places. And it's actually the better price was on Newark. So I was quite uh, happy to see that. It's definitely something I wouldn't even mind uh, adding to my collection one day. And uh, you can get all sorts of different cases and uh, different add-ons for this unit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this battery right in there. Okay, so I just had a short visit with my mom there. And we are going to get back to this before my next technical difficulty of my microphone dying. So what I'm going to do, like I was going to say, was I'm not going to strip it down today. I'm, I'll am i save that for another time. If anyone wants me to take it apart, open it up, look around a bit, let me know. I'm still learning a lot when it comes to multimeters and repairing them. So it's definitely kind of cool to see all sorts of uh, different things come through on my bench here. Uh, even when it comes to uh, calibrating and different methods of that uh, and trusting that my one unit is pretty accurate. Um, so anyways, uh, I've got the 9 volt battery in now and uh, now I'm just going to grab the 1 amp fuse. So I've got the 1 amp fuse here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one in. Uh, after I put in the 2 amp, so I'll put the 1 amp in, or sorry, the 2 amp, and then we will rotate the other way. And then what I'll do afterwards is I will um, put the spare one in for him. Uh, I have a ton of them. Uh, Thank goodness for uh, eBay and the wonderful deals that you can get on fuses. Um, so that's that guy. We're going to pop this guy in. 
and then we'll put the D battery in and we'll just let that go to where it's supposed to be here and that should go into the hole there we go so that's really where it should be somewhere in there doesn't seem like it's that springy there i might have to see about that anyways let's go ahead we'll put the back cover back on here and we'll take a look at what happens oh i guess we have to put this guy in so looking at it we've got the positive here and the negative here there is on the terminals there so you don't mess it up and there we go and That guy all buttoned up there. Oh, look at that. Nice and pretty. And not sure why I have a hard drive sitting there. Probably because I'm working on my one computer, but hey, we'll just pretend that wasn't there the whole time. Always something on the go here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that into the common. Um, that's on alternating. So it does have its own calibration dial to zero the ohms. So let's go ahead. So we can zero the ohms here. Awesome. So I just have it set to DC on here and then we're using the zeroing here. Um, and then I have it on the RX100 and then I'm not sure if you can see that that well I'll just zoom in here a bit see if I can get this there we go and basically all I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that well basically zero it out Put your probes together, should show zero. So I wonder if we take this and we we'll go to 10 volt here, 9.72. And now we'll do that on the other one here. If this thing would actually focus in, there we go. So there we go. Now we're reading correctly here. So that's reading the DC voltage at nine point two four two po or nine point seven. So that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, basically this unit here, uh, it just needed uh, well those fuses replaced and the batteries replaced in it. Uh, not seeing anything else really wrong with it. Uh, it's a nice little unit. Uh, supposedly he picked it up at a garage sale or something like that. So obviously he got a really good deal on it. Uh, I would go into more detail on it right now. But unfortunately I just have too many other things that I need to get to right now. So maybe I'll save that for another day. Uh, for now, it's uh, working again. Uh, it's not, uh, it's reading the voltage correctly. I could be doing something completely wrong. Uh, if I am, please post below, let me know. Um, yeah, I, I'm, like I said, I don't know everything. I'm just tinkering around with the stuff that my wife brings home. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a nice uh, piece of equipment. Uh, it'd definitely be... Uh, Fun to uh, play around with some more, uh, but that's 
probably getting pretty close to uh, a fairly long video for this one. Just getting the uh, batteries and uh, fuses replaced on it. Like I said, I'll toss in another 1 amp fuse for him. And yeah, it's uh, reading correctly uh, on, on there. So uh, I might hook it up to my bench power supply and uh, do a couple comparisons, run it for a little bit. But other than that, I think we're good to go here. So I'll give this a little cleanup and get it back to him. So thanks for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?